next update so uh, this is day four on the project um, yes I skipped day three because yesterday was pretty much just a, um, a day where we finalized the materials with the customer uh, had some material choices that are sitting over here and uh, we ordered all the products we went and picked up some aggregate and uh, we did some work there um, we finalized some design element changes and things like that uh, so this morning uh, we've already been working some and um, you can see that we've got some of our excavation done we finished the demo up on uh, day two uh, as planned and now we got some of the excavation work done around the outside where the patio is going to be enlarged um, and we've come through here and um, sort of excavated the rest of the high spots um, and we dug our footers in here for our wall um, so this is where our our step and our wall is going to go uh, so we've got that ready um, also we've got a little secondary project going over here the concrete guy came and this isn't our part of it but the concrete guy he's going to pour a, a extension pad because they're going to put a water slide in over here so he took this out uh, put all his backfill over here we started to put some of our backfill in over this way to raise up the level so there wasn't a step here and instead it was a smooth transition off the new patio uh, so now what I'm going to do is actually um, one of the most important parts and for this I've sent my guys away uh, because I really need some concentration here um, and I'm going to set up my laser level take some marking paint and you know some stakes and levels and stuff like that and I'm going to um, mark off the outside edges of the patio and I'm going to just basically put stakes in uh, find out the exact sort of perimeter um, and I'm also going to figure out the elevation and the grade of the patio so uh, with that we're going to have to figure out you know up here like how high our step and our wall is going to be across uh, how high the patio is going to be what the grade is going to be from the back to the front and then we're all going to have to match it up with this existing concrete that we left over here that actually slopes the wrong way so that's a problem uh, however um, we got to figure out you know the proper height for our patio so that we can count on our our walls that are going to be up along the house and the steps that come out the door uh, so right now I'm going to start figuring that up and really I need about half a day uh, to do that uh, because it's complicated and it has to be just right this part has to be spot on uh, it's probably the most important element uh, is getting your grade set up right uh, getting all your string lines square and all that so you can properly start putting base material in um, and know where it's going to go you know what we've done this far obviously we've found some things like this is an electrical line that we found that sort of goes out to the shed here and um, you know we're going to have to move where that cone is at as a gas line so we're actually going to move it outside over here so it's outside of the finished patio um, yeah so that's what I'm into right now um, also I've sort of on a side note I started to repair that hole I have to put another coat of the uh, structural cement on the outside of that hole but I've started to repair that hole uh, we have to do that before our base material goes in also uh, so that's what I'm on right now uh, I'm gonna set all that up and then you can take a look at what it looks like before we actually start putting the base in uh, on my next follow-up so keep watching <laughs> 